You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Right, now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. Really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. <gasps> That's it, man. You got it. Shunting, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver! Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Ugh.
get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Ah! Uh, uh, what do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage! Let's run away! No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look lively, he's making his move! Watch this! Nice one, Ollie boy. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy!
Looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls uh, just aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Yes! 
Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Drippy! Ah, nah. Wait for me! Uh, uh. Who goes there? <gasps> Jeepers. Ollie boy, meet old Father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is, is I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you're a tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it, did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first... We had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, yeah! Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only gonna get bigger and meaner. So, you're gonna need a helping hand, or claw, or beak. Or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. Work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? That's right. The fighting spirit inside you made flesh. A soldier of your soul. And he can really help me fight? Ooh. 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 <sighs> huh? Ouch! That was a mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well! <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. Huh? Spoil him for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a logman. Okay. 
Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. We can do this. Here goes.